Hello friends, this is Purvik from Allo Developers. Here we have brought you the second tutorial about designing your application splash screen. The splash screen is the screen which loads whenever your application starts loading when you start it. So let's take a look at over that. Go to the file menu, create a new Android project. Let's say splash screen provide the appropriate package name let's say com.allro.splashscreen choose the minimum SDK requirements I will choose 14 API let's say target the 19 API and compile with the API 19 next create an activity create the clip card configure launcher icon as you want I will choose let's say this one you can choose any one and say create with the blank activity say its name main activity the Eclipse will load the packages of your created Android application project here it is so for to design a splash screen we require an activity to handle that splash screen layout so first we will create a layout go to layout create a new android xml file which is a layout file let's say activity underscore splash screen choose a relative layout click on a finish You can design it over your requirements, whatever you require to look at your splash screen. To make a good looking, I have a put an image. I want to put an image with the logo of the loading, uh, which is over here. So I will just drag it to the MDPI, drawable underscore MDPI. That is the loading.png. So I will put an image view first. Let's say loading. Then I will take one text view below that one. Let it text be the loading. Go to the properties of the text view. Let's say text size equal to 30 SP. Text style equal to a click. So this is it. To handle this activity layout, we have to create an java file create a class in the source folder says splash screen go to source folder package create a class say splash screen make a super class of android dot app dot activity let's say finish so here it is a class initialize on create method initialize the on create method which call out when the activity loads sets and layout by using set content view r dot layout dot activity underscore splash screen control b it will build your projects it doesn't look up over here you have to just remove this import android r so it will make it over happen now the design for your splash screen 
is ready over here and the backend splash screen dot java file is ready over here so to be uh, splash screen to be effective declare the few parameters like say private boolean back button press next private find static final integer splash duration equal to 3000 3000 means 3 second of period so that is what the splash duration your activity holds for the 3 seconds and then your main activity will load next private handler let's say my handler which will handle the activities of your splash screen next when your splash screen loads you have to handle the process of your activity to hold up the splash screen to the splash duration specified splash duration time so declare the handler of the android os class will handle the execution of the activity so initialize it my handler equal to new handler now my handler dot post delayed the post delayed method will handle that how much time you want to delay this particular activity so declare that post delay method let's say new runnable and the delay milliseconds will be your splash screen duration time in runnable method click on the finish you doesn't want to do anything else you have to just call the finish over here and the finish will be hold up the time of the splash duration time so your splash screen activity will be available to the user for the splash duration time now for if back button press is that then you have to call the main activity class after finishing the time you have to call the start the main activity of your applications so declare one intent over here is equal to new intent let's say splash screen dot this main activity dot class now this is the intent you have to start this intent whenever your activity finish the duration of the splash screen so splash screen dot this dot start activity let's say intent the previous we have defined the intent so this is the duration of your splash screen activity it will hold up for the splash duration time and it will initialize an intent and it will then start the main activity from the splash screen now outside the on create method create on back press the on back press method is declared because if your splash screen is there and you want to and whenever the user will click the back button then it will initialize this parameter so we will initialize the back button press equal to true so this is it now the layout file of your splash screen is ready available over here 
we have designed it well and the back java file is over here which will handle the rendering of your splash screen activity layout file now you have to register this activity to the android manifest file of this application so open the android manifest file go to application and below add the new activity browse to the available classes it will load up the activity android project resources select the splash screen say ok add the intent filter over here next add the action in the action choose the main action over here add the category of your activity let's say category will be the launcher activity select launcher from the drop down list so you have seen when you design your application and you will see that the main activity is a default activity which loads whenever your activity runs on the android emulator so it has the two actions and category it is the main activity of your application and it is the launcher activity it has the category of the launcher so it will loads main activity every time when your application start so just remove this intent filter from your activity main activity so the now next time whenever your application starts the splash screen activity will be loads because it is declared as the main activity and it is in the category of the launcher so this you have to do to make the splash screen activity loads first whenever your application starts so build all and now just run your application Let's check the consoles over here. You can see the splash screen is loading over here. It will hold up for the three second, and the main activity class will be called upon. But does you have noticed that whenever you open your application splash screen the splash screen contain the action bar over here which contain the application name so to remove that application action bar from the activity you have to do some extra coding let's take a look over that go to the splash screen dot java file before your application before your java file render the layout there is a two line code which will hide the action bar from the activity let's say get window dot request feature let's say window dot feature action bar and next get action bar dot high the get window dot request feature will get the feature of the action bar to use it over here and the get action bar dot hide method will hide the action bar from your activity before rendering the con layout main layout of your splash screen activity so now just again execute your application your application is starting you can see that the action bar is not available on the splash screen and your new main activity is now loaded
just take a look at once again splash screen here it is the splash screen and after the 3 second the main screen will be pop, pop up over here so you can see that the action bar is been hidden when you start your application so this is how you can design your application splash screen as per your design requirement and make loading of your application much interested if you design your application splash screen layout file very much interesting so this is it thanks for watching this tutorial please like and subscribe our channel and do comment on the video tutorials so we can improvise our next tutorials thanks again